How to use CJ Dropshipping with Shopify, tutorial for beginners. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. I hope you all are doing great and are having an amazing day. In this video, I bring you back with yet another Shopify tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Shopify and associate it with CJ Dropshipping. Now, obviously, if you don't know what CJ Dropshipping is, I'm going to get into all of that. I'm going to explain what CJ Dropshipping really is, what it does, how you can set it up how you can associate and connect it with your Shopify page. I'm going to get into all of those details further in the video. So yeah, it's going to be very simple and very easy and very efficient. I'm going to take you through all the steps very quickly and very easily and just watch the whole video and just listen carefully to all the steps. And by the end of this video, you're going to properly know how to use CJ dropshipping with your Shopify. So yeah, without further ado, let's get right into it. First of all, we need to understand what CJ dropshipping really is. So CJ dropshipping is basically, let's say a dropshipping warehouse, which ships products worldwide. Now, obviously you're probably thinking that many stores do that, like stores like AliExpress or maybe Amazon. A lot of stores have warehouses and a lot of stores ship worldwide. But the perk that CJ Dropshipping provides us with is that CJ Dropshipping helps the product which will take more time on the Amazon. Let's say the Amazon store brings the product to your place in like um, 10 to 20 days or maybe even more than that, 30 to 50 days. Now, if you don't like that, if you don't want to wait that long, because that's like most of the people, they don't want to wait that long. What should you do? You should use CJ Dropshipping because what CJ Dropshipping does is it finds alternates for you that ships products worldwide, but in the least amount of days it can for you. So it can ship in around three to seven days or seven to 10 days and comparing that to what AliExpress and Amazon provide us with, that's a bargain and that's much better. So yeah, once you've understood what CJ dropshipping does and what it really is all about, uh, let's get right into it and set it up. So obviously this is the CJ dropshipping uh, overface and interlay. So you're just gonna go through all of this. Uh, if this doesn't make sense, I'm gonna make sense for it for you. So. Here you can see CJ Dropshipping, you sell, we source and ship for you. So the recommended products for e-commerce platform are TikTok, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, and Walmart. You can use all of these to sell your product on dropshipping that people can access from dropshipping then. Now, if you come here, you can see the different shipping methods. Now, their fastest shipping method is DHL official. It ships in three to seven days. So a product that Amazon will ship in probably 50 days, DHL official, which is a CJ dropshipping shipping method, will deliver in three to seven days. Obviously, the prices vary from that, but it's much quicker, much efficient, much secure, and much better, in my opinion. So, yeah. Now, here are all the products, as you can see, and we're going to get into that right in a minute. So, first of all, what I'm going to need you to do is go ahead and register your account with CJ dropshipping. Because obviously we're going to want to connect it to our Shopify and for that we need to have a proper account. Now to get yourself set up, you're going to see this all interface. You're going to add in your email address. Make sure to add in your correct information because obviously this is a proper product that we're selling and we don't want to add the wrong information. So then we put in our password. So after that is done, we're just going to confirm our password. So once you've entered in all your information, what you're going to do is you're just going to click on next. Then in your username, you're going to enter whatever username that you want to go ahead with. You're going to put in your information and your first and last name. Then you're just going to put in your phone number to verify yourself, obviously. Uh, you're just, I'm just going to do that real quick. And after I am done verifying myself, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to properly register or see the dropshipping account. And after all of that, what we're going to want to do is we're just going to want to go ahead and uh, here we go. So they give us a user questionnaire. See, as I see the registration success here, they give us a user questionnaire. And here we have to fill out uh, the details they're asking because that's how they set our account. So which platform are you running your store on now? Now, this is an important step over here. You're going to put in 
the stores that you're going to run your products on so obviously we're going to do it on shopify if you do it on any other e-commerce store like ebay woocommerce lazada shopee shop Laza, you can use these as well but obviously we're, i'm only going to do shopify right now because that's what we're doing so how many orders do you need to process per day you're obviously going to put that in i'm just going to put this in right now what categories of products do you mainly market you're going to put in your category now here you can see every single category there is uh let's say for now i'll just put in um let's say jewelry and watches let's go with that and then i'm going to submit now what's going to happen is according to that it's going to verify my store and they also give you this uh friendly help bot that helps you with cj if you have any issue so yeah uh once you've done all that now what we're gonna want to do is go ahead and obviously connect it to our shopify store now to connect it to our shopify store what we're gonna want to do is obviously we're gonna go ahead and log into our shopify first of all so uh if you're not familiar with how shopify works you should go and check out a video on my channel where i have properly walked you through on how shopify really works so yeah i'm just gonna log in obviously you can create your free account on shopify if you don't have one already it's totally free and it's a great service and you should get started right away if you're into e-commerce and web stores so uh yeah here i have logged in into my shopify now what i'm gonna want to do is go on my cj drop shipping and up here it says my cj so i'm just gonna click on my cj and what's going to happen is it's going to give me this whole interface where it's going to give me ribbons on the side. Now, I'm going to just wait till it loads up so I can show you the ribbons. So basically, we're going to use the ribbons on the side to help us guide through on how we can use Shopify. So let's just wait for it to load up. So once it's all properly loaded up, what we're going to want to do is we're going to go scroll down. And in the bottom of the left ribbon you see here, you're going to see store authorization. So we're just going to click on that and we're going to see all these uh, e-commerce stores that CJ Dropshipping uh, recommends and prefers. So on the top, you can obviously see Shopify. So we're just going to click on Shopify. And once we've clicked on that, we're just going to go and click on add store. Now to add store, we're just going to go and click on authorize. Now, when we click authorize, what it's going to do is it's going to take us to the Shopify app store. We're going to have to add the CJ dropshipping app to our Shopify store. Now, what's going to happen is uh, make sure you're logged in on a different tab so it can automatically redirect you over here. Now, it redirected us to our Shopify store. And now that we're over here, we're just going to go and click on install app. And what's going to happen from here is our app's going to get properly installed. And we're just going to wait for it to load up. Okay, so welcome to CJ. Having a CJ account will have better service. Great, your account is online and you can authorize now. So we're just going to go and click on the authorize now ribbon. And there we go. The authorization was successful and CJ will help you make dropshipping business much easier. Okay, so we have successfully linked our CJ dropshipping to our Shopify store. Now, the main bit of this video is how we can use it. So we're just going to go on the main CJ dropshipping. It's very simple and very easy. It's just a few simple steps and I'm going to take you through them. So let's say, for example, you want to uh, put a product from CJ dropshipping on your store. Uh, let's say let's go with this lamp, this 3D LED night light wireless magnetic lamp. So if I like this product, what I'm going to want to do is I'm going to go down here where it says connect. So if we click connect, the product will go into our CJ dropshipping store. So we're going to click on connect and it opens my CJ, as I said. Now, over here, it gives us the product. It gives us the automatic matching code. And over here, it says products from authorized stores. Now here, we're gonna click on the selected store and we're gonna select our Shopify store. It's gonna come down there when we have connected our Shopify to this. So we're gonna do that. And what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna click on sync and then we're gonna confirm it. Now, while this syncs, this may take some time, and once it's synced, what we're going to want to do is we're going to come back here. 
we're going to go on the product and we're going to click on list. Now, once we click on list, what's going to happen is it's going to make a list how you're going to, as you can see, look at that. So it's the main product and the list of all the other sub products that it brings with itself. Now from here is how you're going to list it to your Shopify store. So obviously ship from the China warehouse of CJ Dropshipping, and then we're going to select the store it's going to ship it to. So just select your Shopify store and then you're going to select the product type. Uh, let's say lamp or electronics and collection. Uh, just write lamps or whatever your collection is in the vendor you can choose if you want to add a vendor or not it's I don't think it's that necessary but if you do want to you can you can add it like uh, let's just call it lamp night the, the vendor name is lamp night for now and then you can put in the different variants if you want to so obviously in all of these you're gonna put in your price so let's say in my fiat currency, which is PKR, I want the price to be around, let's say this much. And then again for this, this much, and we're just going to copy it. And we're going to paste it for all of these. I'm just going to paste, we're going to paste, and we're going to paste. Obviously this price is a bit inhumane. I'm just <laughs> putting it in to give you an example. So once you've put all of these in, this is going to do that. I'll click on OK. And once we've done all that, I'm going to just go down here and click on list it now. Now, we're obviously, uh, I'm sorry, I forgot to mention one thing. You're going to have to select all these products. Now, once you've selected all the products, you're going to select where to ship it to. And then you're going to select your shipping method. Now, whatever does it the quickest, just do that. As you can see, CJ Packet Sensitive is the one that ships it in the quickest which is 8 to 18 days and the shipping cost is $23 and after all of that I'm just gonna click on list it now so then it starts listing and the listing is in progress now once the listing is done it's gonna list it properly on our Shopify store with all the information I've just put in and now I'm just gonna click on view in store it's gonna open my Shopify store and we're just gonna wait for this to load up and look at that once it loads up, you can see that the overview is there, the specifications are there, the pictures are there, and look at that, all the models and different products with the price that we put in are there. And yeah, that's pretty much about it. That's how you can place CJ dropshipping items on your Shopify store. And that's how easy it is. And this is just one product. You can add as many products as you like on your Shopify page. So yeah. Uh, that's about it. That's the gist of it. And I hope this video was helpful to you because, uh, yeah, I explained it in the easiest way possible, in the most simplest and the quickest, most efficient way possible. If you still have any issues or queries, let me know down in the comments and I'll help you back with it. If you want to see more videos like this related to Shopify, let me know as well and I'll, I'll make more videos for you. Uh, but yeah, until then, like the videos and subscribe to the channel because that helps me out a lot. Leave a nice comment if you like the video and uh, just share it around with anyone who's interested in Shopify and e-commerce. And yeah, till then, that's uh, all from me. I hope you all have a great day. So yeah, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.